Well, welcome back. Welcome to Uniquely Disposed. Another challenge level here. There comes a moment in a person's life when progress marches so fast, faster than you can keep up with it, it can be scary, but also beautiful. I'm sorry, this is so unlike me. I got a little choked up this morning when we got a new shipment of disposable shredders. No more waste for wasteful shredder double dipping. Yes, the brand new shredders in this room can only be used once. They will violently explode if you try and use them more than once. I know this is a special day. Let's try and focus on our work. Okay. So... This is going to be a combination of that stair-stepping puzzle that we did earlier. Where, uh, what we're going to do is... We're going to have everyone take a step to the left. We're going to have them pick up their cubes. Now... If there's a nothing below them, then we want them to take a step down. So if the if below them is a nothing, then step down. And the reason we want to do that is that will eventually pull everyone in into this uh, row here. So if they have a nothing, then they take a step down. If They just take it step down, and then it'll always be the case that once some once uh Okay, it won't always be the case that when somebody takes a step down they're ready to shred. So if there's a nothing, then we take a step down. If below us there is a shredder, we will give it to the shredder. And then we will end. So that person stops being in the way. Actually I may not need that end statement at all. Otherwise, if neither of those things are true, we step to the right. And then we'll jump all the way back and start checking. This might not work. I, I, let me think through this really quick. So this person will take a step down. They'll find the shredder. They'll give to it. And then they'll just start walking to the right. They might get in the way then if they keep walking to the right. So I will then also add in that end statement after all. So this person, after they shred it, they'll just stop there. Which gives everyone else a chance to keep stepping down to the right. Uh, if I don't put that end, then they'll just keep walking to the right. And nobody will ever be able to step down. So I think that that will fix it. This person is going to keep, is going to step to the right. They're going to find their nothing. Because this person stepped down, and then they'll step down, which then later on this person will take their step down, and I think that this will work out. So they shred it, everyone takes their step to the right. Oops, this won't work. I, they're, they're a cycle off. So it takes too long for people to detect that they need to step down, and that's why this isn't going to work. And nothing. No, unfortunately, none of the shredders are going to explode. So, uh, if we if we if we do that, if there's a nothing, then we do a step down. We should also take. I think I may need to incorporate another step right at some point i feel like otherwise people will no they're they're getting out of sync because they they're out of cycles with each other so adding the step right is just going to keep people they're going to just take they're going to get even more out of sync with each other so beforehand i had everyone basically alternating every other shredder with this extra step right what's going to happen is it's going to be even worse yeah, so now they're alternating three steps. So that's really, really bad. So that wasn't right at all. Okay, let's think through this again. So if there's nothing below us, we take a step down. If we have our shredder, then we do our give to. We need to do our step to the right here. So we do our check. That way, everyone does their check and their step in sync. Uh, I think this will fix that. Let's see what happens. 
Okay. So that's not... That, that doesn't get this first person where they need to go. So that's not right. Let's think through this a little bit. So... Now... <laughs> this is kind of amusing. This could be a very interesting way of doing it. I put the step after the jump statement, so that uh, obviously wasn't going to work. Um, so I'm going to put it back to the way it was, and I'm going to just debug this instead. So everyone takes a single step now. They go down. And... I need to... I know what I need to do. So this this if should actually be a else, I think. Uh, that way we don't run this if check unless it's absolutely necessary. So that will shave a cycle sometimes. Um, and that should synchronize everybody. Let's find out if that works. So they take... They, they take their step down. Everyone takes a step right. Um, we should put that in the else part of this, maybe? Oh, no, no, no. We do it in the fall-through of the else statement here. So that... W oh, okay, okay. By doing this, I've made step down and step right mutually exclusive. Now, it, it uh, in a single cycle... Nobody can do both a step down and a step right, which should mean that everybody only makes one move and therefore they all stay uh, one tile away from each other at any given time. Let's see if that does it. So we've done our step to the left. We pick up. This person steps down. Everyone else takes a step right. They'll shred. That person steps down. Yep, so now everyone knows when to break off. Uh, but yeah, the problem uh, was due to the synchronization between the workers. They basically... Uh, it, it, some workers were taking two steps per cycle, and some workers were taking one step per cycle. So what I did was I encased everything into a single if statement there. And then by doing that, it meant that for... Uh, and then I put the other step in the else block. By doing that, everybody is enforced to only take one step in a given cycle, and then they are able to properly move in formation. I told you that eventually this game would start to make it so they have to manage the cycles that all of your workers are on, and that would become very, very hard to synchronize. I was right. Continue to elevator. Reverse line. I don't know what this is going to be, but I don't like it. Ah. Uh, Shitsy twa? These data cubes appear to be backwards. What? Yes, I know what you're thinking. It's not just because I'm looking at them from up here. Yes, please reverse this line of cubes. Okay. So. Um. We have this space down here, which is going to be very fascinating. Uh. Hmm. So basically what I think we can do is just have everyone step... Uh, we should have everyone pick up the cube below them. Uh, well, we should have everyone step down and then pick up the cube that they're standing on. So every worker will be on top of the cube. Then what I'm thinking is we just have the characters uh, walk in a conga line this way and then put the cubes uh, above them once they run into a wall. Or another person. So, that. If to their left is a worker, that's something I can do. But also that worker needs to be in the state of where they're not moving. So, that's going to be interesting. Um, I don't think I'm given the tools that I need to know uh, that information with. So... All I've got to go by right now is uh, everyone steps down and picks up a cube. <laughs> so if... Let's have... 
Let's continue to figure this out, though, uh, by using the same strategy that I just outlined. So if to our right is a hole, then what we'll do is we'll step down. Hmm. If to our right is not a hole, then we will have everyone step to the right by default. If it's not a hole, then we'll jump back up and we'll just keep taking steps to the right. Once it's uh, once it's to the case that our workers got a hole to their right, we'll have them do a step down. And then we want them to walk to the left until they run into a wall. If they have a wall to their left, then they... I see. If there is no cube to their left... Um, hmm. If there's no cube to their left, then, uh, um, we want them to take, we, okay, if there's no cube to the left, we want them to put the cube above them, or, so if there's no cube to the left of them, And to the left of them is no wall. Then we take a step left. So this is really probably not right. So basically what I'm trying to do is once a worker puts the cube above them, it should be a trigger to the cube to the worker behind them to put the cube up as well. Otherwise, um, um, yeah, because if the worker sneaks all the way around and gets to there and then drops the cube, then they're screwed. So what we want to do is, uh. They keep walking to the left until there is either no data cube to the left or there's a wall to the left. And what they do otherwise is they step up and drop. And I don't think this is going to work. Let's find out. The Romans picked it up and they immediately died. However, might work for everyone else. Nope, it did not work. So, uh, again, we have a synchronization problem where people are taking as many as two steps in a single cycle. So I want to encase that in an else again. Um, so that way, we oh, that will slightly delay some of the workers. Now, I'll, I'll fix the worker falling off into the hole uh, immediately uh, problem at some other point. But um, what it is is just this optimization doesn't work. So this person takes a step right immediately with before they do the check, so they die. I'll fix that later. What I really want to do is try to fix this sort of logic here. So they found a wall. So they step up. And then... Um, it's sort of... This is very interesting to me. So I think that by having everyone move to the left by default, I end up with this problem where the worker... Huh. I can actually delay the, the progress of the worker by having them attempt to make a step down. So this worker will get here. They'll take a step down. The other worker will... Hmm. That won't work either, because as soon as that worker moves out of the way, then the worker will always just fill them in. So, that doesn't exactly do it. If I could drop up instead of dropping on the tile that I was on, that would be perfect, but I don't have that, that capability. My brain is starting to reach that melting point. This is going to be fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, if... Okay, we'll just not deal with that for right now. So, it's really about handling this corner case. Ha! Literally. So, 
if to our left is uh, a is if it's no data cube, so the other worker got rid of their data cube, that logic doesn't actually hold. Because we never can actually make our logical choices based off of the data cube. Um, the other thing that we could do is... Um, if we get this wall... Oh, you can move an entire if statement at once. That's actually really neat. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scrap all my instructions here. So, we're now at the point where we have a blank slate for the workers at this point. So, if there is a wall to their left, then we know that they've reached this point. And uh, what they need to do is they need to step up, and then every worker behind them also needs to step up. This is complicated. So, I should be able to figure this out. I don't know why uh, I'm having difficulties with it, aside from the fact that it's a hard game. But, that's fine. So, I will just have to think this through. And eventually it'll click, I'm sure. So, we are, in, we are facing a wall. And then... The other condition is that... Um, if there is, I see. So I can use this, uh, if we hit a wall to our left, then we do a step up and a drop. Otherwise, for everyone else, if they find a nothing to their left, which will take another cycle. So this person's going to do two checks. They're going to check if there's a wall to the left. Or if there's a nothing to their left, uh, which takes two instructions. This person finds the wall, they step up, leaving that spot that the next worker finds, and then they do a step up and a drop of their own. Uh, and what I can do, I can actually make this a little bit more efficient, is do a jump here that takes us to that command, and then we also throw in an end. So, if it's a nothing to our left, we will then do the step up and drop. Otherwise, we have everyone take a step left. And we'll have a jump at the very end, where they keep doing steps to the left. So that first person dies, we'll fix that in the future. Um... What the hell? Oh! If there's a nothing to our left. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, if there's nothing to our left and there's something else wrong here. So this person got down here. They uh, they took a step to the left, found that there wasn't a wall. Uh, so they did that. They also found out that there was a nothing to their left. So they took a step up and then dropped it as they got to this position. So that wasn't a good call. Um, can they put if as the else? I guess I could. Um, but I'm not too sure if that uh, actually fixes it or not. So let's take out this little micro-optimization of the jump. That's not actually too helpful for us right now. So if to the left there's a wall, we do a step up and drop. If to the left there is uh, not a worker, then we do a step up. And a drop. Um, and then this won't work for that same reason for that first worker that makes it to this spot. So if to the left there's a wall, or there's not a wall, then we don't do that behavior. Then we just keep stepping to the right. Hmm. Maybe I do need to put this as the else of the in this block uh so there's not a wall so then we do a check if there's not a worker 
Damn, this is this is a hard bonus level. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's the wrong behavior there, where they they find that there's not a worker, so they immediately go up. Um, but damn, if that's not the right behavior. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. My commentary has gone completely to shit, but as we remember, the whole point of what I'm trying to do is get somebody to step here, they step up and drop the cube. This person detects that they did that, so then they also step up and drop the cube, and we just conga line it. So, this is tough. This is really, really tough. And the trick is to just get that synchronization off the corner correct. So, if... There's actually something I can do on top of this. Which is, uh, what I'm doing is wrong. What I'm doing is way too hard. What I can do is have everyone conga back this way and then drop their cubes off. Perfect. So, uh, without any further ado, what we're going to do now is if you hit a wall, then we are going to... Uh, if it's not, if to our left is not a wall, we keep stepping to the left. Once we've hit the wall, we break out of this instruction and we step up. And if beneath us is a nothing, then we drop the cube and we step out of the way. Oh no, we don't even need to do that. We can have everyone waltz off to their death. Okay, if there's a nothing... So what we're going to do is we're going to... If there's nothing, we do a drop. And then we just step right. And then we check again. If there's nothing, then we do a drop. Otherwise, we do a step right. So now what's going to happen is people are going to step on... Stand on this square. And then just keep walking to the right. And until they find a nothing, then they're going to... Then they're, then they're going to drop their cube. This, ought to, this is uh, a lot less fancy than what I was attempting to do. But this is going to be a lot simpler, and it's going to work perfectly. So they go up, they do a drop, they step to the right, and they slow everyone down because they're constantly checking to do this. Uh, they're checking to do this drop everywhere. Uh, but I don't actually care about that because I'm going to solve the program. Now, the other thing I can do is uh, I can speed this program up by having them when they do when they do their drop, we just have them step up. So now they get out of the way, and they don't slow down any of the other workers. Easy enough. The last thing I need to do is get rid of this micro-optimization here, where we take a step right by default. So if to the right... So we do... We have this statement here, where if to the right is not a hole, we do a jump back to this step right. Let me just reorder this a little bit. So we do a check first. If... Uh, to our right is not a hole. Then we do a step to the right. So I'm just moving this into the body of the if statement there, and then we and then we check again. Now that will prevent this person from dying because they're going to check before they walk off to the right. This ought to work, and it should work a lot smoother than my first attempt because uh, they've moved out of the way now, so everyone else gets to. Uh, put down their cubes and This is still slow because everybody during, when they're putting down the cube is preventing somebody else from moving to the right But uh, oh no, they're stuck on shit <laughs> uh, So this this person's trying to step right and then this person can't uh, get out of the way so my my strategy of having everyone step up oh I see so this isn't working because everyone's doing a step up every time there's a nothing. What I actually want them to do is just um once they're done, I can just make them do a step up and an end. And that way they just get out of the way. 
This probably isn't optimal because I assume that it's easier to just have people die or st instead of using an end statement. But uh, at least they get out of the way and they stop executing so that everyone just steps one tile to the to the top and uh, that makes room for everyone else to follow through there. All right. I made that way too complicated in the end, but ultimately I stumbled upon a much easier solution. Boys do. Good. Ha, whoops. I mean, good job. Reverse line. Nine or fewer commands. I did not hit that. Speed challenge. I did not hit that either. Job well done. Continue to elevator. And I will uh break my brain on other things next time. Thanks for watching.